In this lecture, we'll be discussing another solved problem from regular languages and finite automata. And this question is from GATE 2012. So it says here, given the language L equal to AB, AA, BAA, which of the following strings are in L star or closure of L? So we have a language given here which consists of these strings AB, AA, and BAA. So we have four options given here 1, 2, 3, and 4. And we have to find out which of these strings among these options are in L star or L closure. That means which of these strings given in the options actually belongs to this language L. So we have options A, B, C, and D where there are some combinations of these options given here. So we have to find out which of these belongs to the language L star and we have to choose the right option from here. All right, so in order to find out, we'll analyze each of these options one by one and we will see can we form these strings in the options using these strings that are there in the language L that is given in the question. So that is what we are going to try out. We, are, we will try to combine these strings that are given in this language L in the question and we will try to see if we can form the strings given here. And if we can form, then we can say that those strings belongs or they are there in the closure of L. And if we cannot form, we can say that it is not there in L closure or the closure of L. All right. So let us start from option number one and see. So in option number one, we have A, B, A, A, B, A, 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 B, A, A. So here we have, first of all, A, B. Now A, B is there in this language. A, B is there. So it is fine. Now in the next, we have A, A. A, A is also there in the language. So it is fine till here. It can be formed. Then we have B, A, A. B, A, A is also there in this language. So this also can be formed and it is fine. And then we have A, B. A, B also is there in this language. So it can be formed. And finally, we have A, A, where A, A is also there in the language. So we see that option number one can be formed correctly using the strings that are there in this language and we can say for sure that this string is there in L closure. All right, now let's come to option number two. Now in option number two, we have AA in the beginning. These two A's can be formed because we have AA over here in this language. Then again, we have AA. So in the similar way, we can form this A also because we have AA. Then we have BAA. Now BAA is also there in the language. It is fine. It can be formed. And finally, we have AA, which is also there in the language. So option number two also can be formed. And we can say that this string also is there in L closure. All right. Now let's come to option number three. Now, if you look at option three, first of all, we have BAA. Now, don't get confused why I am taking three symbols sometimes and two symbols sometimes. It depends upon the strings that we have in this language, right? So. If I just take BA, it is not going to be there. But if I take BAA, it is going to be there. That is why I choose like that. That is what we did even in the first two options. All right. So BAA is there in the language. So it is fine. Then we have AA. AA also can be formed because it is there over here. Then next we have AB, which is also there. It is fine. Then we have AA, which can be formed because we have AA over here. Then again, we have a, A and this A also can be there because we have A here and finally we have only B over here. If you look at this, the final thing that we have is only B and we don't have any symbol which contains only B in our language. So this B is left over here without any symbol to fill up from here. So this string cannot be formed by this language. So this string number three is not there in L closure. So this is not there. All right. Now let's come to option number four. So if you look at option four, we can start like this BAA, which is there in the language. Then we have AA, which is also there in the language. Then we have AB, which is also there in the language. Then we have AA, which is also there in the language. So this is also accepted. All right. So we see that from option number one, two, three, and four, one, two, and four are in the language L star or closure of L. And three is the only one which is 
not there or which cannot be formed by this language given here. So let us look at the options and see which is the correct one. So we saw that it is 1, 2 and 4. So is there any option saying 1, 2 and 4? Yes, option number C. It says 1, 2 and 4. So the correct option is option number C which says 1, 2 and 4. All the other options are wrong. Here it says 1, 2 and 3 but 3 is not there. And here we have 2, 3 and 4. Here also 3 is present which cannot be formed. And in option D also it says 1, 3 and 4. So 3 is present here also which cannot be formed. So the only option that is correct is option number C which says the strings 1, 2 and 4 can be formed or are there in the closure of L. So that is how you can solve this kind of problems where you are given a language with the set of strings in it and you are given some strings in the option and you are asked to find out if those strings are there in that language or not. So I hope this was clear to you. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.